I was lucky enough to spend the first part of my career working in Italian restaurants. Now, the reason that makes me lucky is that Italian food is really particular. It's fresh, it's light, and has a fundamental respect for the ingredients that they use. Now, you think about it. Say you're here in Australia and you're lucky enough to grab yourself some of this. This is Manning Valley Naturally Beef. It comes from the mid-north coast of New South Wales. Uh, it's marbled, it's grass-fed, it's absolutely delicious. That's the strategy you'd want to use. So let me show you a classic Tuscan way of doing a scotch filling. The first thing you'll need to do is to get your steak seasoned. Now, in the Italian style, of course, we're just talking salt and pepper. You could add extra flavours if you really wanted to, but the fact is, it's not necessary. This is some of Australia's very best grass-fed beef, and it tastes amazing as it is, so why would you complicate things? You can take a bit of a, a back seat on this one. So salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. When it comes to cooking a scotch fillet, one of my favourite techniques is that old standard in commercial kitchens we call pan roasting. But don't worry, you can do it at home too. Look, it's pretty simple. All you need is a heavy base skillet. And then we're going to sear these steaks for a couple of minutes on each side until that lovely brown starts to appear. And then we'll pop them into the oven. But before we roast it, well, we're going to add a few things. Echelots, black olives and anchovies. Now that is only going to take a matter of minutes, but that's okay because what I'm going to serve with it is equally quick. A warm chickpea salad using those really lovely garden vegetables you find in all kinds of Italian food. First up, some red onion. We'll just saute that off with cumin seeds and garlic. And then, oh, look, some of my favorites. We've got zucchini and eggplant, and of course, the chickpeas. It smells absolutely delicious. Simple, yes, but extraordinary. The only thing it really needs to finish it off is a, maybe something like some toasted almonds, that'll give you richness, and a squeeze of lemon juice, just for freshness. It's incredible, less than 20 minutes from start to finish, and you can enjoy this kind of spectacular Italian food. And if you've never thought of putting olives and anchovies with your favorite beef, well, you've been missing out. First of all, you're gonna to need to track down some Manning Valley naturally. It is Australia's premium grass-fed beef, treated simply, and the results are divine. You want the recipe? Well, check out the Manning Valley Naturally website.